Don't Cry, Big Bird. Written by Sarah Roberts. Pictures by Tom Lee. I like to play with my friends. But sometimes it is hard to play with them. Their jump ropes are too short. Their hopscotch boxes are too small. Hide and seek hiding places are too little. Seesaws come down, but never go up. One day I came home from the park by myself. I am too big to play with my friends, I sobbed. I was so busy crying, I did not see Snuffy. Don't cry, bird, said Snuffy. You are not too big. Their games are too little. I jumped up. I stopped crying. Do you really think so, Snuffy? Yes, bird, I really do, said Snuffy. You are a nice size, big like me. Then I had an idea. Hey, we are both big, I said. So let's play together. Snuffy shook his head. No, bird, I can't play now. It is time for my nap. Snuffy went slowly down the street. It is nice to be big, I thought to myself. But sometimes I wish I were smaller. Back at the park, Ernie and Bert were thinking, If only Big Bird were smaller, then he could play with us, said Ernie. Well, we can't make him smaller, said Bert. But maybe our games can be bigger like this. Then he tied two jump ropes together. Grover came to get me. We have a big surprise for you, said Grover. When I got to the park, I saw Ernie and Bert. They were turning the big rope. Jump, Big Bird, they said. I jumped. The rope went over my head. Hooray for Big Bird, they said. Everyone had a turn at jumping rope. Then Betty Lou drew huge hopscotch boxes. Come on, Big Bird, hop, she said. I hopped. Then I looked down. I did it right, I said. I did not step on the lines. Hooray for me! I was really happy. Until I remembered something. I am still too big for hide and seek, I said. Then I had an idea. Hey, everybody, I shouted. I do not have to hide. I can be it. I can look for you. Everybody played hide and seek. I was it. Then we played on the seesaw. I sat on one end. All my friends sat on the other. The seesaw went up and down. What can we do now? asked Harry. Let's fly my new kite, said Betty Lou. She held the string and ran and ran and ran. The kite began to fly. It flew higher and higher until it hit the top of a tree. Bump! The kite fell down and stuck in the tree. Oh no, 
cried Betty Lou. I'll never get my kite back now. I ran to Betty Lou. Don't cry, I said. I think I can help. I stood on my tiptoes. I reached high up and pulled down the kite. Here, Betty Lou, I said. Your kite is as good as new. Hooray for Big Bird, everyone cheered. I was very happy. Now let's play my favorite game, I said. What game is that, everyone asked. Giant steps, I said. <laughs>